I've got uh, a piece of sports memorabilia. Are you gonna pay attention? It's a ticket stub from the 1900 Olympic Games. Okay. Oh, wow. The um, second modern Olympics. Yes. I mean, it, it, it's very interesting. It's historically significant and all that other fun stuff, but it's French. <laughs> I love collecting Olympic tickets. I'm looking to sell so I can turn around and pick up some of the few that I need to complete my collection. I'm asking 200 but I would entertain maybe $100 for this particular ticket. This is deeply cool. You know, the first modern uh, Olympic Games were in Greece in 1896, and most people thought it was just a one-shot deal. They were going to just do it in Athens every four years. And then Paris has the World's Fair going on, and who's ever in charge of the World Fair has talked to Athens into saying, hey, let's have that Olympic thing at the World's Fair this year. And it pretty much got upstaged by everything that was going on at the World's Fair, and no one really paid attention to the Olympics. Exactly. And there was a lot of unusual events that took place. One of the controversies was they used live pigeons in the shooting. <laughs> Can you imagine how that would have gone over today? Um, it was a different world back then. Olympic items are almost always collectible. What makes this special is its age. We get stuff from the 50s and the 70s, but from the early 1900s, rarely. It's a cool ticket. Really fancy Art Nouveau engraving. How much you want for it? I would like to get $200 for it. I'd prefer to pay 100 bucks for it. Mm, uh, how about uh, 150 It's probably the oldest Olympic ticket you'll find. I imagine the, the ones from 1896 would probably be the most, uh, most expensive, most desirable. How about 125 Well, I, I think we could reach an agreement there. It's a deal. Great. Hey, you want to run them up some? Yeah, meet me over there. The first offer was a little low, but $125, that is a fair price for both of us.